All right, we are live unless there's a, it looks like there's a slight delay, but uh, I just checked YouTube and we are on. Cool. I don't, do I look and sound okay? You got, you guys sound pretty good. And I can see you clearly. Yeah, I can hear you and you're definitely clear. Uh -oh. Still trying to decide what cereal to eat first. I guess I, I'll probably go. I with wonder some. if my autofocus works. Oh yeah, it yep. works. Cool. Wow, Josh, that is a sweet bowl. I gotta, I gotta give it to you. That is an awesome, <laughs> huge bowl. It is I know, big, right? Yeah. I actually brought some coffee, some hot coffee, in case I get cold. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got cold tea in that uh, Bucky's tumbler. You are a fan of your tea, I've noticed. Yeah, that's what I. That's kind of my drink of choice. Yeah, I've got I've got it mixed with basically a zero sugar lemonade, just a just a splash of the lemonade for the most part, and the rest of yeah, it's tea. It's like an Arnold Palmer. Yep. So it doesn't right. look like anybody is online. I have a... How can you tell? It looks like I have two people watching, unless that's just yeah. you two. Oh, well, it might... Okay, so it might be. There's a... Uh, Michelle Snell just signed on. And John as well. So welcome. Yeah, Michelle Snell... I can hear yeah, somebody. Mine, mine just says two as well. Oh, now it says three. So, how do the YouTube comments? Do they would they come up in the uh, Streamyard as well, or now? They come up under comments if you switch to. Um, oh, I see it now. Okay. Go. Mine was on private chat. I had to change it to comments. Yeah. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, Michelle. This is pretty cool, uh, Chris. I didn't know, like, it's nice how it integrates and, like, takes all the comments and puts them in. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, we could actually have this is what displays the most or takes up the most screen. You know, there's a, another option here that we could have gone with that's uh, basically two images at the top of the screen and then one in the center on the bottom, you know, kind of split up, but that leaves black space on the screen. It wasn't going to work out so well. Our, our images would be that much smaller. Hmm. All right. So uh, uh, since I couldn't get a, a, a big enough real bowl in time, I'm actually using the top of a cake holder. You know, nice. Uh, that's awesome. So yeah, that actually a, works. Yeah, oh, it man. actually is a decent size. So um, it looks like, like we've got a, a long-term solution. A <laughs> couple more people on. Jay Robbins, how's everything going? Um, and hey. Matthew Fabrush. Yep. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Hey, Matthew. Good to see you. So this should be fun. Looking forward to it. All right. So, get my scale in front of me. Susan, hey, hey Susan. Started. Hi. Thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we can get started. All right. I'm not sure how to tell on YouTube how many people are in, but okay. It looks like there's six yeah. watching Josh's. Um, I, I see live chat six. Hey, Sean. Told you hey, you'd be here. Oh, hey, thanks, Sean. Hi, you. 
No, no, no. Sean from work. That's Gimli32. I know. I'm just I'm just teasing you. And, right. and one of my one of my watchers is my my own account. I have it. Okay. And Gim my uh, mine too. Account. I had it pulled up, so mine mine as well. But uh Gimli, hey. So I guess let's get started and explain a little bit about what we're doing. Uh, today we are you know attempting to eat as much cereal as we can possibly eat. So we'll see how that goes. Um, last time I tried this personally, you know, I certainly got tired of what I was eating. I'm going to try some different strategies this time, see if I can't go further. And Josh, correct me if I'm wrong, you're, uh, you've got a, a specific target you're trying to get to, to, uh, meet a future goal. Yeah. Yeah. 80 ounces of cereal, let alone how much milk goes along with that. Uh, that is three quarts, three <laughs> quarts. Oh, wow. So 80 ounces is, it's five pounds for anybody yes. that doesn't know the yes, conversion. That, that comes out to five pounds. So I see you've got unsweetened vanilla milk or unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I do too. Yeah, I actually just yeah. went with, All right. I, didn't even, I didn't even do the vanilla this time. I just did unsweetened regular just because I didn't want to add any kind of flavor or sweetness to this. Yeah, I have okay. both. You, Unsweet original as well. Well, I've got I've got vanilla. Um, I have both. It's kind of my mm. milk of choice. Okay, but uh, I've got a, a gallon. You know, half of it's in the refrigerator still, half of it's out here, and my I'm hoping that you know if I have to drink a gallon of anything, I'm not eating very much cereal. Cool. So today. Let's start off, but I have got several cereals to go with. First one, multi-grain Cheerios. It's uh, certainly one that's one of my favorites. Special K high protein. This is probably my, my go-to cereal most of the time. Um, the one that I like the most is Akashi cereal, but I couldn't find it. And then this is the, the Walmart knockoff of the Special K Berry, strawberry, something like that. I was told while I was at the store, this was phenomenal. Another guy that was looking for cereal while I was picked up two boxes of those. That was it. And he just insisted that it was great. So I will give that a try. And then another store-bought cinnamon, sugar, frosted flakes, which surprisingly enough doesn't have an abundance of sugar. But uh, never tried this either. See how that turns out. What do you guys have? Oh, uh, well, I got um, 32 ounces of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Then I've got 32 ounces of Honey Nut Cheerios, which are one of my favorite cereals. Well, actually, both of those are are my favorite cereals, and then um, which I don't really eat cereal that often. And then I've got 16 ounces of tricks which i don't remember the last time i've ever eaten tricks it had to have been when i was a kid that, that would be the same for me i i can't remember that either and you know last time i tried to eat cereal the two big bags that's exactly what i tried to eat they're good good choices well actually i don't think tricks was a good choice because if you remember no no no, no. <laughs> not, not the tricks the Honey Nut Cheerios in the, oh. the Golden Grams. I was going to say, remember the saying, the silly rabbit always says, silly rabbit tricks are for kids? Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You're not a kid. You're not a kid, Josh. Are you sure? Silly, silly goat. Silly goat. <laughs> silly goat. Tricks are for kids. I don't know. Okay, Looking so. at the background in his house for a lot of his videos, I you know, wouldn't be surprised if he is still the kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should add in. My backdrop. He's got some sweet decor. War Master, how's everything going? You said decor. It's decor. No, I said decor. Oh, maybe I heard it. You you, okay. you used to think that's how you said it. Well, maybe I'll just do this. 
get the turtles in the background. So, Sean, what kind of cereal do you have today? If I remember correctly, you had a lot to choose from. Uh, yeah, I have more than I can share to choose from because I'm going to decide at the, you know, towards the end, the different ones. But I got some uh, knockoff brand corn flakes. Nice. And I, I'm going to mix those with um, some legit frosted flakes. All right. And then I got some knockoff Cheerios and Honey Nut Cheerios. These are, uh, you know, the Aldi brand. Okay. And then um, maybe I'll share a few of the other ones. So I like, um, I've never had these ones. I like shredded wheat, but there's also a strawberry version and a blueberry version. Oh, these. nice. So maybe I'll try some of those. Um, and then this is one of, Josh's favorite, Frankenberry. No! <laughs> so I'm kind of worried about this one since it's, it's actually didn't expire yet. It expires in another week or another two yeah. days, actually, the 21st. Yeah, and I bet it's, I bet it's Best Buy. It's probably great. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't actually expire. And then um, maybe I'll just share one other one that I haven't had in a while is Lucky Charm. So um, definitely a sweet one. There you go. Uh, this is a special limited edition dragon. So uh, okay. I'm sure it tastes exactly the same, but the shapes are different. Well, much like uh, the tricks, I can't remember the last time I had those either. No, yeah. It's not often that I think any of us really get to enjoy a kid cereal or even any cereal uh, just because it's a. Uh, it's tough to fit cereal into a diet when you do stuff like, you know, competitive eating and food challenges. Oh, yeah. Yep. I might have it once on the weekend, every couple of weeks or something like that. I don't know. It's usually the special K. But uh, let's see. Brandy, welcome. And Warmaster, definitely no grape nuts. No war, no grape nuts. All right. So, I think, so Josh, Josh, is your plan to put all the cereal in the bowl at once, or are you going to start with half of it and then add milk and then? I'm just gonna no. I'm gonna well. I'm gonna add all the cereal and then um, and then and then milk and then start. All right, Let's start. Should start pouring away. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I think with Cheerios. And maybe some stuff to pay as well. I don't know if I can pull it all the way up now or give myself the option to change flavors at some point. start with those two. I've got some Special K and some Cheerios mixed. Well, and then, nice. So far, it doesn't look like it's actually going to fit. <laughs> This is confusing. Yeah, well, just start crushing it. I had that problem when I did, tried the cereal and had those two big bags. Now, granted, my bowl is, is smaller than yours, but they didn't even come close to fitting. Well, Brandy, I'm okay with my cereal soggy as well. 
Michelle, the Frosted Flakes are awesome. I agree. Those are good. And Life, I actually considered buying Life cereal instead. I haven't had that in a long time. But I actually considered the, uh, the Cinnamon Life. That one looked good. Oh, I love Cinnamon Life. I don't think I've ever had it, but it looked good. I love Cinnamon. So I'm, I'm actually not filling my well, – probably like Sean, not filling the bowl up quite all the way. Give myself an option to uh, change the flavor at some point. Well, um, did it fit? Josh, did it fit? Is it that did all of it? it. It did fit. I uh, I spilled some of my Honey Nut Cheerios on the ground stupidly. So I think instead of picking them up off the ground, unless you guys want me to, I got some backup cereal. Panda puffs. Now use the oh, backup. Wait. I thought you weren't gonna pour it all in at once. Oh no! I didn't. All cereal, all milk. Oh. I meant I, I was gonna. Go. I was gonna alternate the. The cereal. You, you, you know, you better hold that cereal down as you pour your milk, because I can just imagine you're gonna pour that milk in and everything's gonna go over. All right. I have about twenty ounces of cereal to start which is 570 grams. I don't know how much I have. I just poured the bulk of two boxes, but I should get through them. Anyway, I'm going for my milk. Let the stuff start to uh, soak a little bit. Uh-oh. Somehow. Josh, you better start getting your milk in. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh crap! It, zero it zeroed. Well, it was it was at an exact five pounds. Well, how much did you drop? You only probably dropped like a little bit, right? Oh yeah, I only put like a like a, a handful of the other cereal on top, and it hit the five pounds. Nice. Yeah, I think you're good. All right. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy 32 or Gimli 32 has a bad feeling about this. So, yeah, well, you know what? I don't blame you. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this too. <laughs> I, you know, I, I know where I struggled last time. So, we'll see how far we get. Um, you know what the worst part is? Eating more. The worst part of this is um, for me, and I'm not just saying this to try to make an excuse up front, is that I re-hurt my rib today that I had an old injury from, and I like re it felt like I re-cracked it. So I'm wondering how that's going to play in. Um, but it's on my right side, and typically that's not the side that hurts the most when I do challenges. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that happens but it doesn't feel great it doesn't feel too bad all right now yeah. hopefully that won't bother you yeah we'll all right so let's get the milk in and get started all right ah <sighs> Oh, I wanted to weigh the, the milk with that, but it's too late now. Well, it's 96 ounces, so... Um, I assume this weighs very similar to water, almond milk. Speaking of which, I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm hoping I can finish my whole gallon of milk. Hmm. I already know right off the bat, if I drank a gallon of milk, I wouldn't be eating much cereal. Even though like liquid, liquid weight and liquid capacity is like not the same as food. Oh yeah. Well, how much of your spaghetti and meatballs did you eat? That looked delicious mm -hmm. by the way. Well, it could have been better. There was definitely not enough sauce. It was pretty dry. I screwed up. 16 servings of noodles and five servings of sauce. I didn't look. Ooh, when I, 
That is messing right. up. I ate, I ate seven pounds of it. All right. All the milk is in. All right. Who's ready to right, get so started? This, so this is 20 ounces, like I said. So this is about a quarter of um, a quarter of five pounds. Oh, okay. oh no, my bowl is leaking. Oh, because there's a hole in it. Oh, I got to go quick, guys, and then work. <laughs> All right, let's go. Josh, do you want to – oh, crap, this is not good. Um, I will be right back. Okay. Throw this underneath. If it fills up, just dump it back into the bowl and start over. That's what I'm going to have to do. Oh, I'm back. Oh. All right. Yikes. This is not good. Oh. This weighs about what my uh, stewed tomatoes weighed last night. And I decided, just in case I wanted something a little bit bigger. You don't have to work tomorrow. Oh, man, Sean. Yeah, you're right. But you know how I am. I can bounce right back. All right, guys. We got to start because I'm leaking, like I said. Yep. Gary, welcome. It's good to see you. And the Special K, it's the high, high protein Special K, Michelle. All right, Josh, you do the countdown and start the timer. I got to back okay. up. Okay. All right, guys, cereal challenge, as much as we can eat, and I've got a mock cereal killers challenge in three, two, one, go, go. All right. And Brandy, I've got uh, some multigrain Cheerios and the pro high protein special K. Already happy with my choices. Hopefully that lasts for a while. These actually blend together very nicely. That's good. I'm going to ask you if you feel the same way in 15 minutes. I'm going to go to wetter cereals first. Welcome, Todd. Oh, I missed that comment. Hi, let us market you. And Michelle, we've given ourselves one hour.
<laughs> Not sure how you eat so fast, Sean. Well, <clears throat> partially so I can tilt the bowl and the milk doesn't leak out anymore. Uh -huh. But this also gets soggy super quick because it's just corn flakes and frosted flakes. Well, I'm already liking the fact that this is soaked up a lot more milk and it's a lot softer than it was last time I had cereal. Mm. I ate straight down into the middle. And, and hit the milk in the middle. Hey, Tom. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Okay, I'm essentially done that first bowl. I'm going to clean up some of this. Mess that I made. And then I guess I'll transfer to this smaller bowl. to some regular Cheerios and Honey Nut Cheerios. All right. Todd, I agree. It is a pretty interesting way. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Todd, I don't, I don't blame you. The bowls are big enough that just one bowl would be tough. Friday night, eating cereal. I mean, there's so many different kinds of cereal. Everybody's bound to find a cereal that they like. I think I picked some fan favorites in mine. Big Belly Bob, welcome. Hey, Big Belly Bob. Hey, Bob, the goal for me is to uh, finish 80 ounces, which is five pounds of cereal. Now, Josh, do you care if you finish the three quarts of milk or you just that's that's you have to finish that as part of the cereal killer, killer challenge? Yeah, that's that's required. for professionals, that's required. But you can use more than that if you needed. Yes. I'm pretty sure Chris just posted his schedule just today, I think. I did. So, for me, I've got this one, 
And then uh, next weekend, I'm going to Vegas. I'm going to be meeting up with uh, Derek, biggest heavy D. We're going to be doing Vegas's biggest slice pizza challenge. And then Sunday, we'll be uh, recording a buffet video. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then when I get back from that, the following weekend, I'm in the uh, the World Sausage Eating Challenge or, com or Contest. He's going to take down Jeff Esper. <laughs> <laughs> I think he ate three times what I did last time. Old guy eats versus Jeff. Chris is going to bring the uh, title back to Texas. No, I'm, I'm just happy to share the table. Yeah. How many did you do last year, Chris? Did like 16 or something or 17? or? Yeah, 16 and three quarters. Oh. I'm hoping for 20 this year. All right. Let's start on some. Uh... That's turkey sausage, right? No. Uh, what? Beef sausage. <laughs> I'm just no turkey kidding. sausage here. We're in Texas. <laughs> all right. Like I say, I'm already a little worried about all the most of my milk in what I, I dumped in this bowl so far. In the cereal, I don't know if you can see it, but it about soaked up all of the milk already. Not as much as we would have. Nope, but uh, that just means that I'm going to be going through more milk than I expected to. I'm going to add some cinnamon. Oh, nice. So, oh, wow, we're already 10 minutes in. Wow, it didn't even feel that long. I know, right? A little bit of Splenda. Thank you very much, Tom. Hopefully, I'll be able to go live for the uh, sausage eating. And Chris, when's your um? Well, maybe I don't know if you're gonna film it or not, but when's your taco contest? Oh, so May the fourth is the. Uh, Sausage eating contest, and May the 5th is the taco contest. Oh, mm -hmm. man. And I'll record it. <clears throat> yeah. May 5th. All right. I'm going to try to swap some of the bottom with the top. I've hardly done any of the contests because as people have seen from my videos, I really don't eat that fast. So it's hard for me to really compete. But they're fun. And uh, I've gotten a little bit faster. So I'll see how I do. Ooh. Given who I know is going to be at the sausage, I'm hoping for fifth. Well, who else besides um, Jeff and Nick? Is Mickey? Nick, Mickey, um, Jeff, you, and Greg. Yeah, those are the ones that I, I'm pretty confident about. I'm going to see who else shows up, but those are, those are the only ones that I'm pretty confident about. Nikki, or sorry, Nick and Mickey. Um, posted that today that they're going to be there.
I should have brought some hot sauce as a backup. And the, the announcement about Jeff trying to, uh, you know, retain his record or beat it or something like that, I'm assuming he's going to be there too. Is it, that's a Saturday, right? Yes. I look tired. You think? I could do jumping jacks right now if that would help. <laughs> uh, definitely beat Jeff. Now, wouldn't that just be amazing? But I don't have to fool anybody. That just won't happen. <clears throat> Rice Krispies. Cocoa Krispies. All right. My first hit's down. To decide whether I want to eat anything different or finish off the boxes of Cheerios and special pay. I think I'll just finish off those boxes. If I can. That one's done. So is that one. I think I'm almost halfway. My yeah, I'm doing pretty good. My milk's done too. All right, 15 minutes in. Sean, I still like my cereal. Yeah, I'm not too disappointed in mine. Fair enough. Although. My jaw give it out. Huh. Thanks, Jerry. Michelle, I used to like sugar pops too. That was good. Kicks. I'm not sure, Brandy, that I have ever had kicks. Berry, berry kicks. And Michelle, as far as s'mores, I've never had s'more cereal, but I do love s'mores. I'm hey, Charlie. That. I'm glad you tuned in tonight. Yeah, this is, this is slightly harder than the tomatoes. What is s'more cereal? Is that, a, is that what it's called? Yep. And Tom, I don't think Joey Chestnut will be there. He wasn't there last year, and it seems like he hasn't done a lot of our contests recently. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Glenn, welcome. Yes, that pizza was good. <clears throat> Although, I haven't put that video out yet. <clears throat> so for everybody, spoiler alert. So far, I'm doing so good. Yeah. 
And Glenn, as good as you did on that pizza, you need to go for Kendall's. I don't think it's too terribly far from you. Go for what? Kendall's chicken fried steak. Oh, is that the famous one that everyone does? Oh, yeah. It was good. It was really good. I got to drive out there and get that. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it is very good. Now, drive? just remember, anybody that's going to Kindle, yeah. they only take cash. So don't go there expecting to pay with a credit card. <laughs> All right, so now I'm at the point where I kind of have choices of cereal. Should I do some Frankenberries? <laughs> I know I've never had that. I don't even know what it's supposed to be like. Nah, Glenn, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, cash only. It's a it's a restaurant that has been open a long time. It's kind of out in the middle of the country in Oklahoma. It's just like a good old family restaurant that hasn't really modernized. Their their recipes are, are old and really good. It's kind of home cooking. The food is phenomenal. Oh. I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix yeah. some of the shredded, the regular shredded wheat, and the blueberries. Lost head, welcome, and. Uh, I understand it. I'm getting that way too. <laughs> so the biggest slice in Vegas. I'm going to attempt it, and I'm feeling good about it. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be okay with that one. But then Derek, maybe D, he's going to show us how it's done. Why is that not? It's blurry. Has he done that before? No. There we go. It's a relatively new challenge in Vegas that's undefeated so far. Oh wow. Yeah. Giant slice of pizza. How big is it? It's really thick. I don't I don't know the dimensions, but it's listed as Vegas' biggest slice. It's really thick. The only thing that I know about it is it's got a pound and a half of cheese on it. Um month the whole thing, and it's only a 10 minute time limit. Oh wow. That's nothing compared to the amount of cheese that was on Josh and Bob's pizza in Maryland. Oh, yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> and then uh, even on uh, Eli and my pizza in Pennsylvania that we did a few weeks ago, yeah. that, was, uh, that was a ton of cheese, too. They, they made oh, it yeah. bigger than it used to be, I think. If I ever um, went to Texas, I think one of uh, first of all the big Texan challenge would definitely be on my list. And then the um, is it the Old South Pancake House? Yep, that one would be a good one to do. I, I would love to try that one. Yeah, that one is iconic, and uh, it's good, very good. 
Not many people have beaten it. And there's another challenge that I learned about that's uh, Smokey Bear's barbecue. That's pancakes also. And I'm going to say the amount of pancake that you get and certainly the diameter of the pancakes um, at Smokey Bear's is even more than Old South. I appreciate the confidence, Tom. But oh. uh, 10 seconds, that's a goal. To, a goal. Huh? Uh -huh. 10 seconds. That'd be hard for even Molly. Yeah. So, lost Ted, as far as um, what's the easiest thing to eat? Um, and that's a, that's a tough question, but I think for me, one of my favorite challenges are, are burger challenges. I just love burgers. I, I end up eating burgers probably two or three times a week. So you would use a burger over stewed tomatoes? That's a tough one, but... <laughs> I think I'd have to go with the burger. It depends what he means by easy. Like, there's easy foods to eat taste-wise that you like enjoy and don't get flavor fatigue. Like, like Chris said, that would be like a burger for him. <sighs> and then there's easy foods that are mechanically easy to eat, which would be like stewed tomatoes or baked beans or something that's more liquidy. Yeah. Even like pasta. Um, you know, when we had our pasta the other night. It was pretty hey, easy to eat. Definitely. My yogurt parfait was a lot easier than most of my other challenges. I've only ever done one ice cream challenge and that was pretty easy. The first ice cream challenge I ever did wasn't easy and I was oh, frozen. Wow. So, Glenn, as far as uh, this summer, as far as Eli and I, um, this is his tour. He's he's going to be touring around, so I'm going to let him announce that. And Tom, the Big Texan is an hour. Kendall, Michelle, Kendall, sorry, I missed that. But Kendall's is in Noble, Oklahoma. I think it's south of Oklahoma City. That should be a pretty good drive from Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Have you done, um, Chris, have you done the Big Texan? Yes. Twice. It was, they definitely know how to cook a steak. It was good. The day before I was there last, um, and James Webb, Jay Webby, he was there and he got the second fastest time ever. So I got my name right underneath him and, you know, don't get me wrong. Our times weren't even close, but I think he was six and a half minutes. That was like 40. Uh -huh. I bet I know who got the fastest time. Mm -hmm. I bet I bet she's the only ever per person to do three of them in one sitting. Yep. I think there's only been two people that have even done two. Something like that. How many ounces is that? It's a 72, 72 ounce ounce steak. Steak. But then there's the sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baked potato, a salad, um, three fried shrimp, and a roll.
<clears throat> Brandy, the pudding challenge sounds great. Mm -hmm. Challenge, Tom, not happening for me. I don't like dunking anything. And the only way anybody can compete in that is dunking their buns. And <laughs> that's not for me. Oh, it's getting rough now, guys. Uh, south of, okay, so Glenn, the Kendall's is south of Norman. Thank you. Banana pudding or mac and cheese would be easiest. Oh, now, I do I've love mac and cheese challenges. Those, but, oh. I've never done a mac and cheese challenge, but I, I would guess that both of those are probably on the easier side. So for me, though, the banana pudding, it'll end up having so much sugar in it that I'll end up struggling on that quite a bit. The, the uh, chocolate peanut butter pie that Josh and I did the one day, <laughs> I felt... I felt off, somewhat, you know, bad and impacted for the rest of the day and the two days following. There was that was that was probably the the hardest challenge I have finished. That wasn't super size. Oh man! Oh man! These don't even smell good. I told you. Yeah. Wrong. Is that the Franken something or other? Yeah. You're going to hate them. <laughs> now, Tom, that whole onion, the onion seemed to be slow to eat, but Fortunately, I like onions. It didn't bother me to eat it. Uh, Sugar-free banana pudding. Yeah, it's a good idea. Man, I'm running low on milk. I'm almost through a gallon. I'm through a half. Oh man. Josh, you're doing great. That bowl's significant way through it. It's getting really hard. Oh. Am I the only one that get it's getting cold? Hmm. I think so. I'm a little cold. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh. Josh, do you like to toaster strudels as a kid? Yeah, I loved them as a kid. I did a challenge of those ones. A hundred yeah. of them? No, not a hundred. And Brandy, yes, onion. I did a challenge with Eli, and they sliced up an entire onion and put it on the side of each of our uh, our plates. That was supposed to be like the topping for the burger, but oh. it was an entire, entire oh. onion. Chris, are there any challenges in the, like the Northeast, like around us, like Philly or New York, or that you are that are on your hit list? 
Um, tell you the truth, I don't really have a hit list of, of anything in particular, but I know there's a lot of them up there. Well, I wouldn't do any of them. Like iconic challenges that. Oh. I'm trying to think of a good burger one around here. Um, even Buddy's Buddy's Enemy Burger Challenge is a really tasty one. I like Which movies, one? you know. Oh, and the 22 West, 22 Tap West or whatever. That burger is pretty good. Uh, is that even still around? <clears throat> oh, yeah, 100%. And, and, and Michelle says you need to do tasters, toaster strudels. That are, they're better than Pop-Tarts. Oh, man. Mom, I'm actually aiming for 45 minutes. And for Farfalle milk. So I got like 11 minutes left. <coughs> Not, okay, Brandy, as far as the comments go, you know, hosting this, I see the comments on all of the channels, and you probably only see the comments on the channel that you're on. Yep. Oh. Yeah, and some of the restaurant owners that sabotage with loads of salt um, I've never had that happen. I don't, I don't know of any that, that do that, but I'm not, it wouldn't surprise me if somebody did. And I'm not sure that it's the restaurant owner so much as I would probably guess that whoever's making it just thinks it would be funny. I was told that, um, you should always order your challenges with no added salt. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 30 minutes still. Mm. Well, bye bye to Pop Tarts after Toaster Strudels came out. That's funny. I, I don't know that I've ever had a Toaster Strudel and probably haven't had Pop Tarts in many years. Mm. I don't know. I don't think it's very hard to get something that's better than Pop Tarts, though. I was never a fan. Oh. So, Mike, uh, this challenge, it, I guess for Sean and I, wasn't the challenge so much as just how much we can eat. And Josh, on the other hand, had five pounds of cereal and three quarts of milk and his challenge that was to, to get through all of that. Oh, Paw Patrol. <clears throat> yeah, how's that Frankenberry, Sean? The taste isn't too bad, but um, it's like it doesn't get that much softer, even though it's been in the milk for a while, so it's hard to eat. Hmm. Oh. A bun challenge. Everyone loves a bun challenge. <laughs> this is what everybody wants more bread. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh. Mm. I don't like this anymore. Mm. 
Oh, I'm just getting cold. Oh, this is this is this is rough. Oh. Yeah. Chris looks like he's enjoying this way more than you and me. I think he's taking oh, it yeah. easy. Oh yeah. I'm not liking it that much anymore. I'm almost done with these two boxes. I don't think I've eaten nearly as much as either of you either. And I've slowed way down. always hated the fries on the challenges um occasionally the fries are are really good but they do make it a lot harder they make the challenge a lot harder uh. so Mike, that's Josh's goal. He's got the, the serial killer's bowl, and he's kind of done his own serial killer's challenge with the same amount in practice for serial killers. I can't breathe anymore. Oh. looking around at all my different cereals to see what I want next and I don't really want any of them which is weird and I was thinking the same thing I finally finished my two boxes and my first half gallon of milk I'm not oh, looking forward to starting on the next I have, I have Reese's Puffs but Reese's Puffs are always take forever to get like the milk absorb. I have these mini ones. Maybe I'll have the mini ones. Ugh. All right. So what do y'all think I should try next? The, uh, the strawberry special K or the cinnamon sugar frosted flakes. The cinnamon actually sounds better at this point. Yeah. But I got to go get some more milk. I was hoping I wasn't going to end up opening more than a half gallon, but. Oh. Serial colors. There's a few different uh, locations. Do you think do you think they exaggerate it when they say it's five pounds of cereal? Of dry no. cereal? Huh? Five pounds fit in your bowl. My huh? bowl's a little my bowl is a little more full though than theirs. But maybe not all cereals weigh the same, maybe. That's true. 
throw some of the granola cereals or grape nuts or things like that, they weigh far more. So where where did where was the advertised as five pounds of dry cereal? Uh, Randy's oh. video for sure. Well, did he I actually weigh it? it? I don't know if he weighed it. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's just I know some people that have done the, the challenge, and knowing that I'm only going to be at four pounds after this. It makes me skeptical that it's actually five pounds. I'm not pouring in my entire box of this cereal up front because I don't know that I'm going to finish that whole box. Brandon finished it. Uh, yeah, Brandon finished the big bowl of cereal. I saw that one, Tom. But it didn't look easy. Okay. Well, I officially ran out of time. Thank you, Michelle. Are you going to weigh it to see how much is left? No, because I don't remember how much this weighed. Oh, I don't want to ever eat cereal again. Oh. Brandy, the uh, regular Frosted Flakes are much better than this one. It could just be me at this point, but it's not really that good. Oh, I'm starting to cramp up. Yeah, Brandy, I think you're right. As far as Josh weighing the cereal and how much is left, he weighed the cereal dry and then poured in the milk. And so how much of that cereal is left versus the milk? And the challenge is five pounds of cereal. I'm not sure how you'd really, you know, kind of weigh that either. It's five pounds of cereal and three quarts of milk minimum so yeah but the, as far as trying to see how close you came to the cereal killers that's just the five pounds of cereal i don't know how much cereal josh has left no but you also have to do the three quarts that's true so three quarts of milk should weigh just over six pounds like six point six pounds and four ounces or something so you did that and then you did five pounds of cereal. So you did like 11 pounds, 
four ounces or something total. So if, if you have two pounds left and you know, you ate nine pounds, four ounces, you could do it that way. Yeah. Oh. Ready, Kiki? Yes. <clears throat> Thanks, Gary. I, I appreciate the always. motivation. Seven pounds, eight ounces with the bowl. <clears throat> Thank you, Michelle. And yeah, Tom, yeah, it does. I definitely need a nap now. <laughs> I'm in a zero coma. Pretty Kiki, <clears throat> I missed that. Yeah, I do feel pretty full. Cool. Oh, <sighs> no, yeah, Bob didn't. Bob didn't even finish the cereal bowl challenge because he was just like, he was so done with that trip. He didn't even want to do the challenge. He only went because Brandon did it. <laughs> I don't remember correctly. I think he said he did what, like five challenges in four days. That was number five. Something ridiculous. I think he like, did more than that, but he may have. It's been a while since I saw that. Next time, pick a smaller bowl. <laughs> <coughs> Woo. Uh. Thanks, James. Welcome. Uh. 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 Yeah, thank you, James. Uh. <laughs> Gary. With the cartoons help, do we need to turn cartoons on in order to eat more cereal? It might distract me. It might help. Oh, wow. There is so much going on in my body right now. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, I'm starting to shake, and I don't know if it's because of the syrup, the sugar, or the I'm cold. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. I put holes in the bowl. <laughs> I would consider this a, a, a kind of pain. It's more of a torture than a pain, though. I don't think... Uh any of us would have eaten more if we just did one kind of cereal mm. versus multiple. <sighs> Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I feel. That's pretty funny, James.
<laughs> yeah, two flavors together, and in this case, only one. <coughs> Sean ate oh, yeah. single flavors at some point also. <sighs> What's a burpee? A burpee? Burpee. Is like right. That must be Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Burpee is like a, it's an exercise move. It's like a push up, except you, you stay, yeah, you, you, like, you go down to a push up move and then you jump back up onto to like a squat position and then you jump up in the air with your hands above your head. It's like a, it's like a military yeah. thing. Oh, sounds, yeah. sounds rough. And now I don't think I'll be doing burpees right after this. Just goes to show you how much Josh exercises. <laughs> What's a burpee? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck a burpee is. Sounds like some little baby thing. Oh, that's for the babies. Burpees. Well, I think I'm, a, I'm I think I'm about done, Chris. I might <sighs> call it quits five minutes early. No. No, you gotta push till one hour. You don't give up. What kind of crap is that? So, lost Ted. Um, it was mm. only in 2022 that I learned that I could eat a lot more than I ever expected I could or ever thought I could. I did kind of a, a I did a burger challenge with some coworkers and hey, Scott. <clears throat> From work showed up and it was kind of like a team building thing and that was the only one to actually finish only three of us did it there's supposed to be six but only three of us actually did the challenge oh oh i want a hammer <laughs> oh god thanks glenn So, Tom, the Four Horsemen Challenge in Texas, if I remember, that one's in San Antonio, and it's a spicy burger challenge. I have never done a spicy challenge, but I would like to try that one. I've heard it's brutal. Oh. Oh. Right now, this is feeling pretty brutal right now. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know if I have a sugar headache or uh or I'm just cold, but I'm not feeling so hot. Oh I'm I'm full too, like I'm pretty much at my capacity. Fortunately, I don't have a headache or anything, but I'm pretty full. This is like really slow going, trying to get the rest of this stuff down for the hour. And I've never done a ramen challenge either, but that could be fun. Oh, wow. Hey, Sam. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still going. What is it that causes your nose to run when you're overfilled? Uh, yeah, I do a SpaghettiOs challenge, Brandy. <sighs> oh. oh. It might be, but I'm not sure, Brandy, why uh, nose running is a defense mechanism. <sighs> Something with the body saying, you filled up enough, you need to let something out. I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right, Gary. I just want to lay down in bed, curl up under the covers, <laughs> go to sleep for like 12 hours. I got to go for a run. I, w I would love to see that. I'll do it. Get on I'm the treadmill. Ten, 10 bucks, I'll do it. What, what's that? What are you going to do for 10 bucks? I'll go for a run. Ah, I can do that. I think your nose already <laughs> did go for a run. Yep. Oh, man. I got 10 seconds. Jim out. Got my last bite in too. Oh. 60 minutes is in. Oh. That looks gross. No, it's really good. I'm sure it is good. It just looks gross. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say if I took a bite out of it right now, I wouldn't think it was good. Yeah, you probably not. I, I like <laughs> weird stuff. No, I think more so because I'm just so full with cereal right now. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> I accidentally dozed off. I did that too. I woke up five minutes before the live stream. <laughs> Ugh. Oh man! Oh man! Who's who's gonna conclude this and wrap this up? Chris, uh, Tom, uh, me. It, it, things don't go through the body that quick, Tom. Uh -huh. Thank you, Brandy. Oh. All right. So, uh, y'all did great. Um, uh, no doubt you all ate far more than I ended up eating. But I kind of knew that going into it that you would. Overall, as long as, we, as long as we all don't feel good, then we all won. Absolutely. It's, uh, as, as you said before in, in some of our chats, you know, we've all got our own limits and we've got our own challenges. What might be a challenge for one may not be a challenge for the other. So it's good. Oh, that is true. Anyway, I'm very confident that uh, just based on the size of the boxes, I ate more than I did last time. So for me, that was definitely a win. Um, I was pretty happy with that. I didn't weigh anything, but, you know, based on the, the size of the boxes, I only ended up eating probably oh. about 45 ounces of cereal. Um, just a, just about three pounds. And then just under probably. Um, in another, I can weigh my, my milk that's not full, but a little over a half gallon of milk. Whatever I poured in for this this last bit, oh. which is more than I expected to eat. So for me, that was a win. I was pretty happy. Um, how did you all do compared to what you were expecting? Uh, well, of course, I was expecting to finish, but uh, I didn't. But I, 
I think I'm happy with what I did. Yeah, I just, uh, I ate just shy of four pounds of dry cereal. And I barely have any milk left. And I used some uh, water mixed in here along the way, too. So I'm pretty sure I drank at least a gallon of liquid. So Oof. probably sitting somewhere almost at 12 and a half pounds combined. Um, Thank so you. When you figure oh, all that in. So actually it depends. Yeah, if I did more than a gallon, a gallon's eight pounds, six ounces or something, mm-hmm. plus four pounds. So yeah, probably 12 and a half pounds at least. Oh. And I, I feel like every bit of it. So I'm... Uh, I'm so I was done 10 minutes ago, like I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. But yeah. it was just, I to think everyone fair. succeeded in their own right. We all probably improved on our prior serial attempts. So yes. good all around, and it was fun answering people's questions and just catching up with these guys online. Absolutely. Yeah, enjoyed every talking to everybody that, that turned out and the, the Questions, comments that y'all had. Thank you, James. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Definitely. All right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, wealth, wealth is health. In regards right. to that, Sam, um, I had gotten different um, different suggestions from different people, and uh, most people said to go this route and to just dump all the milk in right away. Uh, especially since I don't mind soggy cereal, but if I was to do this again. I would try it Randy's way and see if how much of a difference it made. I tell you, pouring a lot of milk in here early for me, and you know, it soaked up a lot more milk than I probably had last time, but it made it so much easier to eat the cereal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad I, I poured the milk in like I did. Uh, and didn't, didn't conserve the milk. Whatever got soaked up, I, it, it got soaked up. All right. Well, it is. It's an hour later here in Eastern time zone. So I'm going to sign off here. Uh, well, have a good night. Yeah, Enjoy. I need, to, I need to warm up and just go to sleep. Go take a warm shower. That sounds lovely. Although I don't want to stand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was good. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. This was fun. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed for, it. For some of it. And, you know, great uh, suggestion. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. Great suggestion. Somebody else picks the next one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks right. everyone for tuning in. Thank you. Have a good one. See you, Sean. I don't even know how to exit this. I'm just gonna. Oh, now, so let me tell you something. Once you exit, you're probably going to get a pop-up message saying that uh, it's finishing uploading your your video. So don't shut down or anything like that until the the upload's finished. It's not even letting me move my cursor now. That's weird. Huh. Hopefully I didn't ruin it with milk or something. Michelle said, "Take a shower." Well, I think that doesn't happen until you hit. Uh, and until we go offline, I don't think any of that stuff happens, right? No. And once I hit end, then that'll pop up with everybody's, you know, chance to, to update. So, with that, I will call this one for me as well, and I will close the session. Y'all have a great night. Enjoy. Good night. All right. Good night, everyone.